Hey folks, you're here with Red Carpet Report. I'm Corey Ringdahl, and we are at the 21st Annual Actors Fund Tony Awards Viewing Party here in lovely Los Angeles, California. Hello. Hi, Gabrielle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Corey. With I love the Red Carpet Report. <laughs> I'm so excited. You just can't hide it. I just can't have it. I'm about to lose control. I think I like it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Are you having a good time here so far? I'm already having a good time, and we haven't even gotten into the gala yet. Are you kidding me? We're, we're, we're like having theater night, Broadway night in the West Coast. I love Hollywood, but the theater people, there's just one of a kind, you know what I mean? We're all just one of a kind, so we've been sound checking with Brian and with all the Actors Fund folk, and we've been having already a great time. Right on. Well, there's a different energy in theater than there is in film or TV. There's a lot of projecting to the back of the room that accidentally happens with everybody. Yes, it is. You know, find your lights, you know, sing out, Louise. It all makes sense to all of us in this room, let me tell you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, is this the first one of these for the Actors Fund that you've been to? Yes, it's, been, it's an honor to be here tonight. Um, I just met Brian Stokes Mitchell. Uh, we did an Arts Advocacy Day on, on Capitol Hill in March, and when I met him, I said, I'm a huge fan of you, not only, but thank you so much with all you do with the Actors Fund. I have, you know, personally friends that have been affected by uh, situations that the Actors Fund has lifted them up in a time of need. And when I'm trying to tell him all this, I've rehearsed this whole spiel to be so thankful and such an honor to meet him. He said, call me Stokes. Everyone calls me Stokes. I was like, no, no, let me have this. You're a big deal. <laughs> So it's exciting to, um, you know, represent for him tonight and, and everyone else that has, every little thing goes, goes such a long way. And I've done three Broadway shows myself, and every time we raise money for BCF, BCFA and for the Actors Fund and everything, that little bit goes a long way. And it's just so nice to see that tonight and celebrate. Well, it's good to know that you aggressively admire people. <laughs> I do. I do aggressively, aggressively admire people. So when I even met Rachel Bloom for, during my auditions and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, both of us were pretty aggressive about it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Angrily cheerful at each other. Angrily cheerfully and like shoving each other. Yeah. Just like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> no, you're the best. You're the best. No, you're the best. <laughs> Around, no one's ever going to bring you down. Exactly. What, uh, what theater experience did you have, could be musicals, could be stage play, that allowed you to tell yourself, I'm a professional actor? Um, I would have to say the experience that I had, that I knew it was, I made it, this is it, this is what I'm doing with my life. I uh, was able to do summer stock in college. Um, I was first a dancer and then I fell in love with singing and acting all at the same time in college and I got a paycheck for it, but it was fun then. And then um, I booked, my first, uh, my first show out of college was A Chorus Line, the first national tour. Right out of the re right when the revival was happening on Broadway and performing Deanna Morales, eight shows a week, around the nation uh, for an entire year, that's when I knew that, oh wow, I really do love this. And it's really hard and it's really worth it. And I really have to get up for that sometimes a 1 p.m. matinee and really got to warm up because the time zones change. And for us, that feels like noon, you know, and we're tired and it's a Sunday and we got to pack and we got to go to, you know, Oregon the next day and whatnot. And all of that um, team effort that it took for the trap for the traveling troupe to do the show that was so hard on the body as dancers that's when I knew that I loved it and Deanna every night is the trailblazer of the that Nash that anthem of what I did for love so that really was the full circle moment for me that's an amazing story it, it you you were working way too hard not to love it oh working way too hard and it was so worth it it was so worth it to learn how to eat better and learn how to how to how to support each other when someone wasn't feeling well on stage and you know we never left that stage and that's how Michael Bennett made the show and that all of us were really you know um, art imitating life that we were really struggling sometimes to get through that show together and we were always there for one another and that kick line at the end just is all the glitz and glamour of the glory of what Broadway is. And how has that affected your your television career? You know, that's a great question because Crazy Ex-Girlfriend has musical numbers in it. Spoiler alert, catch up on Netflix, don't worry. You'll get there and you won't stop watching it, it's so great. That's what everyone says. Um, that uh, when they asked some of us uh, theater people, I guess, to audition for this television show in New York, sometimes that happens and there's definitely a different um, threshold to like cross over to television in New York from what from my experience being in Broadway and trying to get into television and this show needed people to sing so how awesome is that right and so this audition felt like every other one of those that you put it out in outer space and you're not sure if it's gonna come back but it did 
And so the first table read as Valencia, CBS was there and the CW was there and they, um, I'm so good at yoga came up on, during the table read and Rachel and Aline Broch McKenna, the showrunners of our show, looked at each other, not sure what to do during the song. And I looked at them and I said, well, I can sing it for you if you want. I just recorded it in the studio about 30 minutes ago and they, everyone, fell to the floor. I looked like I had three heads or I was the Madonna or something or all of, all of the above. And they were just so impressed that <laughs> I was able to sing a song so quickly. And I thought, I was like, I have so many of the same me in line at Pearl Studios in New York that do this every day. And Donna Lynn uh, Champlin and Santino Fontana, Vincent Rodriguez, David Hall, all like, all, there's a lot of Broadway veterans. And all of us looked at each other and it was just this knowingly silent nod that we were like, that's right. This is this is a different kind of training, and that training that I've been conditioned with for so long, for about 10 years on Broadway, really is coming through that they trust us in a very different way with Crazy Ace Girlfriend. It's a treat, because we have different songs and different styles of dance, and we have to pick it up quickly and put it on its feet, and that's another day in New York, another day on Broadway. And, and it sounds like you've had all of that experience constantly. Um, what Have you developed the same camaraderie with your castmates that you had during that year of loving hell? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I've been able to be in three Broadway shows. Um, I've been a first replacement in most of them. So being able to like introduce yourself to a new person, a new group of people, um, being the new kid in the classroom, you know, it's what it feels like. And that's the same kind of energy that Rachel Bloom and Aline Broch McKenna, it comes from the top. And they were just so welcoming and they wanted me to feel comfortable and come to lunch with the writers and whatnot. And and just supporting each other and, and going to each other's uh, others. If you're not in the song, we all would just watch Donna Lynn Chaplin do her solo and watch her and support her on, you know, cheer her on with her numbers and whatnot. So it's definitely the same feeling that I feel very spoiled in my big television <laughs> debut to be a part of, but at the same time, I feel very blessed. Absolutely, well, that's, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Happy to meet you. I'm so excited for the interview with the Red Hey folks, this is Corey. Thank you so much for watching us here on Red Carpet Report. Hope you enjoyed seeing the Tonys this year. Uh, if you like what you saw, give us a like. Uh, subscribe, definitely, to see more of this again. And uh, leave a comment today. Uh, who did you want to win this year? Uh, why? Did you really want them to fight to the death? Maybe they will, just for you.